This is the quick unboxing and review of the Dr. Trust Comfort Pro Digital Blood Pressure Monitor 115. I have purchased this product due to its unique highlighted features. I will tell you later one by one. This Dr. Trust has been selected as the premium prestigious brand of 2020 by Economic Times and it is also approved by US FDA and CE. Now I will tell you why will you choose this BP monitor among the several BP monitors available in the market. This is third generation BP monitor with MDI technology means measurement during inflation with advanced fuzzy technology, gentle pumping, comfortable cup size, cuff check indicator, quick user select, fast and reliable measurement, auto power off and also works with 4 AAA batteries and USB. Now about the price, it is written 1865 but I have got this product from Amazon at only 1600 rupees. This Dr. Trust BP Monitor 115 is compatible with new Dr. Trust 360 app which is available in the Google Play Store. I will tell you the significance of the app later part of the video. After opening the box, you will get the you need BP monitor, the cuff and some documentation. In this documentation, generally you will get one year warranty of the product. But if you want to extend the warranty of this product up to five years, then you have to register this product through the company's website within 15 days of purchase. And this is the user manual. Now let's open it. This BP monitor can be operated by two modes that is 4 AAA battery and USB. Now have a quick look on the BP monitor. This is Dr. Trust branding on the top of the monitor. Who indicator, pulse rate indicator, systolic pressure indicator and diastolic pressure indicator. This is the time button to select time and date. And this is the power button for measurement in standard mode and MAC mode. And this is the memory button. Now you can see here this is the air outlet where you have to insert the air connector. Nothing is there. This is the USB hole and bottom side of the BP monitor contains four rubber padding at the four corners, one battery compartment where you have to insert four AAA size battery which actually has given in the box by the company. Now you can see displays are coming on the screen. Here you can see the product serial number. Once again it shows that it is genuine and it is also written here FDA approved. Now we are operating the BP monitor by a power bank. You can see here and it's also working normally. Let's notice I have disconnected the cell from the battery compartment so it is working only on the power bank now. Now let's insert the air connector in the air outlet properly. Now press the power button and you can see all digits will visible and then it starts inflating the cuff. This digits what you are showing on the screen that means it is increasing pressure in the cuff and it is showing error. Means you have not fastened the cuff in arm. For getting correct reading through this BP monitor, you have to first of all fasten this cuff properly what is given in the instruction on the left arm and this cuff position will be parallel to the same level with the heart with your heart so that you will get the proper reading through this BP monitor. Then press the power button and it will in the standard mode and it will measure your BP. This is the increasing pressure you can see in the cup that is 78, 83, 89 like that. And flashing heart symbol in the monitor, it shows the, detects the heartbeat of your heart. Now see this is the 113, this is the systolic pressure and 69 is the diastolic pressure and 70 is the pulse rate. Now press and hold the power button for 2 seconds and the BP monitor automatically enters into the MAC mode and it will measure two readings in succession so that your blood pressure will be proper and accurate. You can see on the left below corner of the screen there is a that is written 1 means this is the 45, 49, 51, 60, 63 these are the calf pressure reading that is increasing now and it will measure the blood pressure in the MDI method already I have told you this is the measurement during inflation. Now you can see the countdown timer 13, 12, 11 up to 0 means you are getting ready for the second reading and after taking the second reading you will get the average value of these two readings. So this is a special feature of this BP monitor. Now notice carefully it is written in the left below corner 2 means it is the second reading. And again the, uh, the pressure in the cup is increasing and in this way it will measure the second reading. 
Now you can see the average result of the previous two readings that is 115 that is the systolic and the 76 is the diastolic pressure. Now I am disconnecting the power bank and operate this BP monitor through battery. You can see here. Now I will show you how to record all these data what you have got through this BP monitor that means different type of readings what you have got that can be stored easily through the Doctor Trust 360 app that can be downloaded from the Google Play Store and I've already downloaded and installed in my smartphone and go to the camera of the Doctor Trust 360 take the picture of that this picture 11780 and 76 is the pulse rate it will be automatically recorded you see after storing several data through this app you will get the graph you know how your blood pressure is decreasing or increasing now you can see here this is the last recorded blood pressure so tap on that you will get the present condition that means it is normal or elevated or moderate or high you can get from here and these are the previous data what you have recorded you can see here you can tap on that and you get that if you want to share the BP profile with your doctor then tap on the share button and it can be done. The product is really premium and clinically approved by FDA. Build quality is also premium and it works efficiently and effectively with real results. But I have seen some drawbacks. This is not backlit screen so you cannot see this display in dark. Second drawback I have seen it is not automatically switched off when powered by battery. But auto switch off is activated when it is powered by power bank. Thank you.